Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to the Legend of the Dream Binder. So we got three challenges left guys. Three challenges. I don't know if we'll get through all of them today. I'm hoping, I'm going to try my best to get them all done, done today, but we'll see how it goes. So we have Hector, Wallace, and Ashley left. I think I'm going to start with Hector since his has given me the most problems. So we'll get the hardest out of the way. I believe his door is uh, up here, right? Only a soldier can enter this chamber. Yep, this is his. Go in there, Hector. It's all yours. Leave this to me, Ashley. I'll be okay. And yeah, he's going to Dark Town. He's got to fight uh, his, you know, former army on his own. You must prove your bravery. Dark Town has labeled you as an outcast. Prove your bravery against your empire. Alright, I can do that. First, I just want to make sure I have the... Yeah, I have it equipped. Good, because I need it if I go down here. Oh. Well, we gotta fight this soldier first. Or two soldiers. That's fine, though. Damn, excellent hand. Yeah, I'm gonna keep locking. But yeah, we go down here with the Death Spade equipped. It transforms. The goddess's light has removed the shadows from the Death Spade. The Death Spade has become the Feral Skewer and can unleash its true power. Yeah, so there we go. The darkness was removed from the Death Spade, letting it use all of its strength. So yeah, it's even more powerful than ever before. And now we can take down the rest of the Dark Turn soldiers, and then once we take all the soldiers down, we can go after uh, Draven himself. And the battle with Draven is the reason why I want to learn uh, Zero Storm before I tackle this challenge. Nice critical hit, by the way. Hector with this weapon has a very high uh, critical critical rate, so that makes it pretty cool. But yeah, that's why I wanted uh, Zero Storm, because it, it's a very powerful attack, and we'll need it against uh, Draven. For obvious reasons, which you'll see when we get to him. Like, Draven's nothing special. I didn't uh, alter his stats any from the last time we fought him. Like, you know, story-wise, like, it's literally the same fight, just, uh, Lazarus is added to the fight, so... Yeah, we're gonna be fighting both of them. We get to fight, uh, the Emperor and his right-hand man. And that's kind of why I want Zero Storm. The idea of the fight is where you keep yourself alive until you build your TP up to 100, and then unleash your ultimate skill on him. And repeat. So it's mostly like a, you know, survival strategy thing. And then it's just, uh, you know, basically unload on him when you get the chance to. And then it's less of a hassle once you take one of them down. This battle is actually a lot harder in uh, the remake I'm working on because uh, I'm using the ATB system. Which I don't know why I didn't do that in this game. Like, I did save a few scripts where you can use, uh, ATB and, uh, BXJ, so... Why I'm not doing that, I don't... I don't know. Either way, I don't really want to go back on, like, this version of the game and, you know... Like, uh, re remake... remake it, you know, like... The remake's an MV thing, and it's easier to do an MV because, uh... You know, MV you can do more with, right? So the only th difference I'll make with uh, this version is uh, fix the thing in the Zod's temple that we ran into. But besides that, I'm not really gonna make any changes to this because, like I said, I'm proud of how it turned out. Could it be better? Yes, absolutely. And I'm proving that with the remake. But I'm still proud of it because it it's one of the, like the first games I made, like when I was still learning uh, VX Ace, and I think it turned out pretty good. So yeah, by the way, we are coming near the end of the series. Like, right now, we're just doing, uh, extra stuff. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna miss this series because I've really been enjoying playing it. And I really hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. Like, it's a game that I, I made, like, a real long time ago. It's one of the... It's the oldest game that's still up on my channel. And I thought, you know, I never really thought of doing this before. Why don't I, you know, showcase the games that I made for you guys, uh, on my channel? So... Yeah, that's why we decided to do this, and it seems to have, uh, been, uh... Well, it seems to be received well by you guys, so I think I'll continue, uh, playing games that I made. I know a lot of you guys are, like, uh, 
Yeah, you know, the Sonic fan game you made, uh, we want to see that, so... Sonic Night of Ruination will be next. So, just keep that in mind. It, it's coming. But one at, one at a time, you know. Like, I try to keep it, uh, like, limited to how many series I have going on at a time, because... I like to provide variety because I don't, but I don't at the same time want to overload you guys because overloading you guys with so many series uh, overloads me too because I have to keep up with everything and that can be hard to do. <laughs> Alright, Draven, you and Lazarus, not only did you disgrace us, Hector, but you defy me. I gave you a chance to live. All you had to do was leave, and never come back. Oh boy, typo right there! I'm not a disgrace, disgrace the Dark Heron. I'm here to eliminate Dark Heron's true enemy. And that enemy is you. So you wish to die a hero then? Come on Lazarus, join me as we eliminate this traitor. Yes sire. Here we go! We're fighting Yepper Draven and his right hand man Lazarus, so let's go do this. So we need to build up Zero Storm so we can, you know, just basically unload this guy, so... For this turn, I think I'll just heal. Yeah, they're gonna be using a lot of magic, so... Keep that in mind. Alright, let's attack Lazarus. Uh, you can freeze me, I guess. I don't really care. Darkness I care about a little bit. Alright, I think I can survive one more turn. So we're gonna attack again. Oh. Ooh, damn! Nice, sorry. We're gonna be using that full potion. Haha, <laughs> you tried. You tried, but I'd what? I'd be too fast. He's too fast! Say your prayers, Zero Storm is coming. Damn! You see that power we just unleashed. That's why you want Zero Storm. Hey! Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. Damn! Damn, that was surprisingly easy! Alright, here we go. Hector's challenge is down. How could this happen? How can I lose? Lazarus, I blame you! It's your fault I lost. It wasn't Lazarus. It was your own power and greed. You've been blinded by power and that was your downfall. <laughs> what nonsense you speak. Power isn't used to destroy. It's used to protect. And those are the words that Hector lives by, you know. Honorable soldier. Just a shame he was serving somebody evil. But at least he came to his senses, you know, and left the dark hair. Great job, Hector. You earned this medallion. Hector has stood up to the Dark Heron Empire, showing his courage, earning his emblem. Nice! I will take you back to your friends. Yes, please do! Hector has proved his courage against Dark Heron and has cleared his challenge. Wow. <laughs> I have proved my courage! <laughs> Only the Dream Samurai can enter this chamber. Are you, Ashley? Wait, I should have saved before I did this. Oh, oh well. Where am I? I don't know, maybe the voice will tell us. Ashley, you must prove yourself worthy of the Dream Binder. Can you defeat the six former Dream Samurais? Sure, of course I can! Not only am I worthy, but I am the greatest of the Dream Samurais because... Who was it that ended the nightmares? Anyways, I'm going up this way because, uh, well, there's one of the Samurais, uh, down there. But I'm going down this way because that's where the chest is! Where we can make the Dream Binder even stronger. 10% chance of causing instant death. Nice. And yeah, all these uh, former Dream Samurais, they are capable of uh, dying to the Dream Binder. So let's do it. 10% chance of instant death and the first strike with it was an instant death attack. Nice. Y you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Honestly, you can't. Alright, let's go down here. That's where the next one is. This place is kind of a maze. 
Show me your strength, young samurai. Oh, I'll show you my strength. I'll show you the strength of the dream binder. 10% chance, and so far it's been always instant killing. That's kind of uh, surprising. Did I have a bit of a brain fart and uh, confusion when I was making this and thought 10% uh, was 100%? And that's why everything so far has been being instant killed. Or am I just very, very lucky? I don't feel like opening it up in VX right now to figure out. Uh, I'll let you guys know in a post edit. Show me your strength, young samurai. Or samurai. I will show you my strength. Oh, I missed. Oh! Oh, you're using the powers against me. Okay, I think I was just getting very lucky because, uh,. Well, that was an instant kill. Alright. Yeah, I was just getting really, really lucky. Okay. Bow potion! You're dead, buddy. You're dead. Nobody survives the rage of a dragon. Boom. Hmm, impressive. I, I agree, it was impressive. I really made you look like a chump, didn't I? Hello! Show me your strength, young Samurai. Samurai, Samurai. How you pronounce that? It was a typo, but you know how you want to pronounce that, I guess. I don't really know because, like I said, it was a typo and not intended. Wow, you can't even hit me. You can't hit me, mate. I'm too good for you. I agree. It was impressive. I mean, I was the one that ended the Dragoras Reign of Terror, you know. I'm the one that put an end to the nightmares. And I think you guys can guess who the final one is going to be. You know, there are six former Dream Samurais before us. Who is the last one? Who is the one before Ashley? Yeah, I think you guys already know that. The story began with him. Oh, this one does hit kind of hard, though. Hey. Yeah. Alright, come on. You're dead, mate. Yeah. Impressive, I agree. It was impressive, and there's one left. At least I think so. Did we kill five? I don't know. Well, Quadis is here, so we must have. Are you surprised to see me here, Ashley? You were the Dream Samurai before me, and everyone else here wore Dream Samurai, so... No, not really. Are you saying I have to fight you? Yes. Your challenge here is to test your strength against former Dream Samurais. Don't take it easy on me because we're friends. May the better Samurai win. Alright, here we go, we're friend Claudius. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, he hits hard. Yeah, he's not playing around. He may be our friend. He may be living in our sword, you know, guiding us on our way. But he's not going to be playing around. He's not going to take it easy on us because of that. He's not going to let that get in the way. Alright. Well, take this. Ooh. Well, I gotta do Hector's challenge again. Well, that makes me sad. Well, I'll do Hector's challenge again, but I'm gonna do that off camera. While we're here on camera, I'm gonna finish up uh, Ashley's challenge. Holy shit, I did not expect two critical hits in a row. God damn. All right, guys, welcome back. Time for round two with Claudius. Let's get it done this time. You are not defeating me again. Because I am the best of the Dream Samurais. Alright. Okay. Now we're going to heal this turn. And next turn, I'm going to unload the rage of a thousand dragons upon you. After you come crashing in from above. Cha! Ay! Yay, 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 yay! Calm down, mate! We're still friends, right? You don't have to get all critical on me like that. Please. 
Oh, come on, don't go dodging and then you go drop him down on me again. Hey. Yes! Huh? Oh, no. A power up? We did not need that. Haha, -ha, I win this time. Boom! So, surprisingly, besides Hector's challenge, I have died once on every challenge. I lost. I knew there was something special about you from the day I met you. The Dreambinder chose you for a reason. Claudius, are you hurt? Don't worry about me, Ashley. I'm not even a real Claudius. The real me lives inside the Dreambinder. You may be the Dream Samurai that can put an end to our never-ending nightmare. You're right, I, I may be, and I was. Great job, Ashley, you earned this emblem. Ashley has obtained her emblem for being able to defeat the former Dream Samurai, proving to be the real deal. Damn right. Bang! Alright, I'm going to step outside and say, where, where did Hector go? Why is Hector not back on my team? He, he should be back on my team. Well, let, let's go back to my ship and put him back in my team then. He, he should be right here. Hector, what are you doing on my team? There. That was weird. I don't know why that happened. Only a pirate can enter this chamber? Well, we always happens to be a pirate. Let us in. And I return with whatever treasure they would be hiding. You do that, Captain. Kind of a rude awakening as we just get shot straight into the beast. And we have to find six treasure chests to... Well, escape from here. And the six treasure chests can only be found once you find the R5 and open them. And yeah, we got to find a lot of aquatas. A lot of them. And I did learn Pirate's Fury, so... If my TP get up, gets up to 75, they're all dead. That's just, that's just how it's gonna be. And you're just gonna keep singing and silencing me. I don't use magic, so that doesn't, you know, phase me any. Stunning me on the other hand to do that, that will phase me. And not a nice thing to do. They really should not be doing that. Like that. But hey, let's just Aura gives you some health back every turn, which is pretty nice. Not a whole lot, but okay, things are getting a bit, a bit scary here. Oh no. Please, Wallace, well, get unstunned. You know what? They're dead. 75 TP is all I need to do this. Bam. Yeah. And there's our first chest. One is open. Nuts. Alright, and let's move on to the next one, which is right up here. Yeah, this place is going to be completely different in the remake. Uh, I'm not even going to be doing like inside of a giant beast. I'm actually going to be going back to a Phantasm ship because... Honestly, when you think about it, Wallace is the one that has the most speed for Phantasm. Maybe Max too, you know, because, uh, you know, Max almost died to him. Got tossed overboard. But Phantasm won a Wallace dead for years. So it's kind of more personal with him. And of course they're gonna start the battle stunning me. Thank you very much. Silencing me, I don't care. I don't even use magic. Ow. I don't bar using counterattack against these guys because uh, I'm just gonna get stunned and I'll just disable my counterattack. Alright. Say your prayers. You're going down, buddy. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm stunned. Time for some pirate theory. <laughs> Boom. That's what I love to see. Alright. Let's go in here. Open the next chest. Cool. And now we have to go down the art area to get the next chest. Because this place is kind of symmetrical, you know. Like, left side does look the same as the right side. By the way, I didn't design the inside of this beast. This was actually uh, a sample map. I kind of used a lot of sample maps, and I'm going to be changing that in the, in the remake. Like, 
I'm gonna be trying to make my own stuff. Like I am gonna be using a few of the samples, you know, as templates, and just modify it into something of my own. Which is what the samples were intended for. Again, I'm not putting down anybody that uses the samples. Like I obviously did. And it is a great thing to do when you're starting out, you know. And once you feel more conf confident with your mapping skills, you can, you know, start trying to build your own stuff. Just saying, nothing's wrong with that, you know. Alright. Ah, oh, I missed. Oh boy. Don't stun me. Okay, silencing me, that's fine. Now you get to face my fury. Goddamn mermaids. Pirate's most hated enemy. Well, not really, I don't think. Alright, three chests open. But yeah, I don't think mermaids are really like the pirate's most hated enemy. Don't get me wrong, they're one of them. I guess their most hated enemy would be other pirates or people after their treasure. Because a pirate really cares about the treasure more than anything else, right? Ah, I'm stunned. My greatest enemy is being stunned, apparently. God dang you, Aquata. Can I please do something? Like, this is me literally begging to do something. Like, really. This is four turns in a row where I didn't get to do anything, because you just keep stunning me. Like, your success rate with the whole stunning thing is incredible. Alright, I'm gonna have to use this turn to heal. And you're probably gonna stun me again, am I right? No, okay. Well, maybe. Nope, okay. I had some better luck this time. Silence, that's fine. I don't need to sing. Oh, it's sing, I mean, uh, I use magic. Ah, oh, boy. Alright, thank god. Ah, I'm so close to 75. Come on, somebody just hit me one more time. Don't stun me. Oh, well, it's why you have the guard. You should have just let that attack hit you. Because now you can just wipe them all out. Don't you dare stun me. Okay, that's fine. Goodbye. Boom. Nice. And that is chest number four. Now we just have two more to get. And they're not really that hard to find. I mean, this whole place is really not that hard to navigate. We only have to go through one more aquata, or round of aquatas, I mean. Like, it's always going to be three of them, but I think we just have to go through that, uh... No, two more times, because there's one here. And up there is the chest that appears uh, once we get the R5 chest, so we're not going to do that just yet. We'll fight this mermaid. There's another one down the other way, but I'm not going to bar with her. Because these things are kind of proving to be quite a thing. Attack! Alright, Aquata down. Silence, that's fine. I don't mind being silenced. You just made the biggest mistake in your life. Pirate Fury. This attack is a godsend, like really. It's even probably more dangerous than uh, Ashley's uh, ultimate attack that cost 100 TP. And it only cost 75. Alright, here we go. Fighting more Aquatas. Yeah, keep hitting me. Get me that 75. Get me that sweet 75 and I'll love you forever. And I'll make your death quick and painless. Okay, well, maybe it will be painful because you do get hit by a bunch of sword slashes. Thank you very much. I will keep my end of the bargain. See? Quick and painless. You didn't even see it coming. And we're level 32. Cool. Level up, or rather heal my health. I mean, we did level up though. And that's chest number five. There's one more to open, and it's right in the middle. And it is now a thing that can be opened since we opened the our chest. So here we go. So yeah, there's gonna be a twist in the remake to Wallace's challenge, and that twist is that 
when you open all the chests, well, it does like the thing. It's still gonna be like uh, open the final chest uh, last to get an upgrade. But if you open it, uh, if you open it before you open the other chest, it'll just display like the same message for any other chest. So that that'll be the twist. Like you won't know it's special unless you, you know, do the proper order that I have in mind. But we're not really proper order because the other fire you can open anytime you want. It's just the sixth one has to wait till last. If you want to be special, that is. Come on, hit me one more time. Yeah, thank you. Now you get to go. Now you get to carry. Awesome. So we go up here. We open the final chest, and there's some light. What was it? Low level 41. Yeah, it, it took us up a few levels. That was pretty nice, wasn't it? Walrus has become a pirate master and he can equip two weapons. And that's all the chest open. So yeah, with that now, we can now have two weapons equipped. So we can have the Oblivion as well as the Dark Heart. I mean, there is another sword, but I didn't get that because I want the uh, Ring of Furies, you know? But with a gun and a sword equipped, we can use all of his skills about having like the proper weapon equipped. And now... Time for the battle with the Kraken! We were inside the Kraken all this time, by the way, if you haven't put, put that together. I know I didn't make it too obvious, but that's what was going on. And yeah, he's gonna attack with both weapons too, which makes him very, very strong. <coughs> and he's just gonna be attacking us uh, with, you know, stuff. Oh boy! Let's uh, counter attack! Wanna try that again, mate? No, you're gonna hit me with some water. That's fine. Can you please do some physical attacks, mate? Like, I got counterattack on. Okay, I wasted my time with the counterattack, I see. Yeah, and he goes on uh, with a full-on assault when uh, I'm no longer countering. Man, this guy's AI is impressive. I didn't, I didn't call him to be this smart. Damn! Alright, let's try counter again. Probably, he's probably not gonna, yeah, he's gonna just resort to magic now. This was not programmed, by the way. This is just RNG really not working in my favor. There we go. Alright. Boom! See, level up Wallace a little bit, it's not that much of a challenge. Ah, <laughs> The Kraken is dead! I am the master of the sea! Good job, Wallace. We knew you could do it. Great job, Captain Wallace. You earned this emblem. You damn right he did. Wallace Lee has obtained his emblem for defeating the Kraken, becoming the true master of the sea. Good! Good for you, Wallace. I will take you back to your friends. Yes, please do that. Wallace Lee has successfully defeated the Kraken and has cleared his challenge. Awesome! And with that, if we look in key items... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yep, we have beat everybody's challenge. All that's left now is this, the ultimate challenge. And that... Oh boy, I'm gonna need at least like a whole hour for that, so... I'm gonna have to save that for another day, because... He is the ultimate challenge for a reason. That's because, well, he is really, 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 really difficult. So that's going to do it for today. Oh, before I do this, though, um, give me that. I want to give it back to, uh, back to Ashley here. And I'm not going to be using Wallace against, uh, against the Shadow Dragon. But I'm going to be doing that in its own episode. That's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time for the finale. See you guys then. And we're going to be going to war. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.